Hi everybody, Bentley Compost Guy Christy here again. This is a very quick update on my use of lawn thatch as a living material in my plastic worm bins. In my last video I talked about uh, the potential for using this material. Again this is the old dried up grass that you find sort of at the, the base of your, your fresh grass in your lawn. You can rake it up pretty pretty easily. Uh, using this material to mix with your typical food waste and you know sort of for the purpose of adding um, some beneficial microbes and just kind of helping the process along. So I'm just going to kind of have a quick look here in these bins. In the video, last video, I, I just added food to one of these bins. But uh, after the video was off, I uh, did a pretty much a similar process for the other video. And things have been coming along very nicely. It's now Tuesday, uh, May 19th, I believe. And it was probably last Thursday that I uh, shot the last video and, and when I added the food mix. So it has been, you know, a number of days, but uh, not as much as a week. And I actually checked up on these systems, I think either the same day or on the Friday, maybe the next day. Um, and I was noticing that, that you know, it was, it was looking pretty good. Worms were starting to move into the material pretty readily. And uh, it's only gone, gone from there, essentially. So I'm just sort of digging in here. And you're probably seeing worms all the way through here. The long and the short of it is that this is working out very, very well. Worms have absolutely been uh, invading this zone. I see a bunch of them there. Absolutely no issue with uh, moving into this thatch food zone, which is a very, very good sign. Oh yeah, absolutely crawling with them down in the lower lower reaches. And what's what's great is the the smell that is wafting up as I open this up a bit is very very earthy. It smells like a, a nice aerobic vermicomposting process. You know, if this had been a uh, big deposit of food waste just right there with nothing else, it's a pretty good chance I'd get some wafts of anaerobic sort of smell, stink uh, when I when I do what I just did. But I've, there's none of that, so that's a very good sign. Just moving over to the other bin here. And it is a very, very similar scene. You know, the, the thatch itself is now very, very moist. Definitely uh, decomposing a bit more. And the worms are just kind of going to town here. They've definitely moved into this zone. And they're really, really feeding on... Feeding on uh, the food waste and, and likely on the, the uh, rotting thatch as well. So definitely a positive development. I'm going to continue to work with the thatch. I may just try to add it. Actually, probably what I will do next, I'll continue to add food waste mixed with the thatch, but I'm going to try to add sort of a layer of it over top um, in this in this bin, in these both of these bins, and kind of see see what happens with it. See if they kind of move into it just even without any food waste in it. And... Yeah, just kind of go from there. So, definitely working out well. Um, if you if you want to give it a try, I, I definitely now highly recommend it. Uh, it seems to uh, work quite well, and this is like I said before, it's a very readily available material and something that can help to os optimize your uh, vermicomposting efforts. All right, so thanks for tuning in. Once again, this is Bentley Compost Guy Christie, and I'm sure I'll be talking to you again soon.